What's going on guys? I'm going to take this opportunity to show you how to put in ARP hardware. Uh, I have two examples. I have a Honda B16 that has studs and then we have an LS that we're doing head bolts on. So I seem to have lost the bolts for the LS. Yep, it's not even my engine. I don't know where I put them. So uh, I'll show you how to do studs and bolts. The biggest difference between the two is you're going to go high horsepower for heads for cylinder heads at least, if you're going to go high horsepower, uh, you're going to want studs. Uh, boosted applications, you'll want studs as well. There's not a huge difference between the strength between heads and bolts. The biggest difference is the studs will give you more accurate torque and clamping. Uh, so you're going to be twisting on two planes, uh, stretching when you're trying to do bolts, studs. You put them in hand tight, and then you torque on the nuts, so you're only stretching the stud itself, no torsional issues. Two perfect examples, Honda, studs, LS, bolts, so I'll be able to show you the main ones. ARPs usually have a 12-point head as well, so that's something to keep in mind. If you are going to be doing something like this, you are going to need a 12-point socket to install. So, things you need to keep in mind. Does not always mean you're going to manufacture spec when torquing these, so if you're doing uh, LS head bolts, even though GM recommends a certain number for uh, the torquing, ARP could have something totally different. So... Uh, with every ARP box of hardware, there's going to be a little piece of paper that shows you uh, exactly what you need to torque to, torque sequence, stuff like that. So always check your box. If you lose it, go to ARP's website, and uh, they have everything up there. You just need to put in the part number. Other biggest thing, when you are installing the hardware, uh, I know old schoolers used to do molly or oil for the lube on the threads and such. ARP has their own grease, so keep that in mind. Make sure you are using the ARP Ultra Torque grease. Again, if you misplace it or use too much and you run short, you can buy the grease separate. Let's get started. We'll show the head studs first, and then when we do the LS, I'll show you some of that. I guess I'll also have uh, timestamps below, so you don't have to waste your time watching me talk about things too long. I do that. All right, so we're doing head studs today. Drag this old girl out. Time to make it complete. So we've got our ARP head studs. This is a B16, so we're running... So we're running 208 4601. So it's pretty much the same for any any engine, LS, whatever, anything you want to stud with ARP. Super straightforward. Got our studs, washers, nuts, grease. Everything on here I've already cleaned, uh, as you can tell. This is a B16A2, so I uh, ran a tap down the uh uh head stud holes yep bolt holes uh-huh and i've chased them already blasted them out with uh brake clean and then air so you do want to chase these would absolutely recommend it and you need to clean them real well so done didn't film it because that's about the most boring thing in the world so slapping these bad boys in one side has an allen one side does not when we're putting these bad boys in you want to grease you want to grease the threads on the bottom where it goes into the block not the bottom of the stud itself. We're going to slam these in. We are going to do them hand tight. We're just going to snug them up with a socket. You don't want to tighten them down, the studs. You just want them snug, not torqued or anything. Uh, they only have the Allen for ease of removal and install. So not going to torque them. You're going to thread them all in with the grease. Slap the head on. Super straightforward after that. So once we get that done, uh, we are going to want to grease the threads on the top as well. And then uh, the grease on the washers both sides and under the nut head. So let's bang that one out. It's freezing cold, so better. Alright, so we have our studs in. They are not torqued and they are not tight. Uh, the only reason I use the uh, ratchet, that's the word. only reason I use the ratchet is it's bloody cold out. So I'd rather hold the ratchet twist it like that than trying to do this with numb fingers. Those are hand tight. Now, you're going to want to use the grease on these threads too. Uh, and the washers, nuts, all that. Only reason I didn't is I have a little bit of cleaning I have to do still. Alright, also a very good time to note, if you're doing head bolts with ARP, they will have chamfered edges on the washers. This one is completely square because we're doing studs, so that's very important. If you are doing the bolts, you have to make sure that chamfered edge on this inner ring is facing the top. If you do it the other way around, there's a possibility you can pop the uh, cap off the bolt. It usually doesn't happen, especially with ARP. 
So, we're going to ignore that I'm showing a bolt right now and talking about studs. When you are adding the ARP grease, throw that over there, don't mind our crack razor collection. When you're adding the grease, you want just on the threads here, and then under the head of the bolts, the washer or the nut, whichever one, uh, you do not want at the bottom of the threads. When you crank it down, if uh, you have a bunch of grease here, it is possible to hydro lock it and you'll either break something or you won't get proper clamping and blow a head gasket. Both are frowned upon. So, very easy. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was hot. So you do want to apply quite a bit. Uh, you want to make sure that you are uh, almost completely covering the threads. Don't go ham with it because it's not necessary. This stuff is super fantastic to play with. But you want looking something like that, that might be a little too much even. So uh, again, you don't want on the end. And when you're doing a bolt, uh, the washers that you throw on, you're going to want to grease between the washer and the bolt head. And you want the bottom of the washer to sit against the cylinder head with no grease on it. So that's pretty much the same for bolts and studs. Pretty straightforward. You do need to make sure you clean the threads first in the block or whatever you're working on, and uh, you are good to go. So that is studs shown. Next we'll hop on to the bolts on the LS. So, bolts. Okay, we're installing ARP head bolts. We went with bolts because we're not boosting. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a chamfer to the washer that goes towards the head of the bolt. Slippery stuff there, not on the bottom. And then slippery stuff up there. Not up here. So we only need a little bit. So clarifying on the bolts, chamfered edge goes to the top of the head. If incorrectly installed, you will pop the head off your bolt and you will never walk again. Each one will come with torque specs included. So I do have a 